What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, it's going. Yeah. There's a lot of space right here that shouldn't be. So we put a body lift on it. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> the, the body is an issue. Not really. That's chest. We're going to go 33, 3350, 26 LTZ reps. <laughs> no, All we're right, going snowflakes on this one. No, we're not. Everybody <laughs> goes snowflakes. You know those You know those really ugly stock wheels? The chrome cladded ones? The chrome what? Cladded ones, the ugly, the terrible ones. The Denali wheels. No. Uh, Wait, I don't know. Which one. Like the chrome hole. No, no, no. You remember the black truck I did a while back for the guy that had like 350,000 miles on it? I don't. I remember the truck, not the wheels. All right, y'all. Uh, S10 Body Drop Part 7, Monday night. Actually, got Dan out. He's off this week. Channel swung by. Um, didn't really do much since the last video. Got the motor back in. Um, got it up. Got it on block so I can mess around. Um, Jeff's coming over this week to work on the truck. So I want to leave my lift empty. And uh, like this, I can still get up under it. Um, do everything I need to do. We could start putting tremors pan or tremors and tunnel back in, drop shaft tunnel. And uh, once we get all that in, we got to do the firewall. Um, Dawson ordered those dies for the beat roller. They'll be here on okay. Wednesday. So um, he ordered them today. I thought he ordered them last week. If he ordered them today, they'll be here Wednesday. That's fast. Yeah. Uh, what else we got to do? Um, Lots. Yeah. I, made, I made a new list on the board. It went all the way to the bottom and I just stopped. Long. So, uh, you start on these floors and there's 22 things on that list. My, my marker board's only so big. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, start start putting this floor pans back in, get all that welded out, and then we can do some seam seals, some bed liner, all that fun stuff. Here we go. God, look at them boys. Hey, huh? Uh, Ugly and lost. Who's who? You. I'll let y'all guess. Uh, Hi, how are uh, you? All right, so we got the original trimmer fan, and I want to stick it in. Put it back over the shifter. It's about uh, that much too short. My original plan was to cut the firewall, spot weld them together like factory. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut cut this lip off and just move where it needs to be. I, just, but, uh, I bet you got to get three quarters of an inch back off of that. Uh huh. <laughs> you wouldn't. Have. How did how did you guess that? Because you didn't know how how far. Oh, that's a, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's more than three quarters of an inch. God, I thought we'd move the cab back there. I don't know. Could be a possibility. Smart ass. I can make it feel like that. Just have Actually, I want this thing as low as I can get it because I'd like to be comfortable driving. You know what the real big issue is going to be with this floor, right? What? Where are you going to put cup holders? Sure, you never had cup holders. <laughs> That was in the glove box. Dude. You fold the glove box down and you stick the cup up there and then it falls off immediately. <laughs> Did Dawson send you that, um, that, I think it was a phone or something that had something, um, some kind of truck. And they, what they did was they had two bars of bent come under the seat, come up like that. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Where, um, no, but the, that's a pretty good idea. Huh. And they had it painted the same color as the truck. That's pretty good. All right, so. Alright, let's go cut some stuff. Alright, so we cut the lip off the front of this transmission tunnel. That's where the spot weld was. I drilled all that out. I was planning on spot welding the back, but I think I'm just going to butt weld it. Beautiful. And we're going to grind this weld across there. Take a hammer, beat it around. Start filling it in. What's that side look like? Straight, pretty much straight down? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so my buddy Kyle Edge, if y'all don't follow his channel, it's uh, Outlandish Family. Uh, he's building the blue S10 like this that uh, we pulled all the parts off of when we bagged this truck. He sent me a picture the other day, and he's got the carpet and all out of his truck, and it has this same paint splatter across the floor, identical to this one. Is that like an S10 thing that I don't know about? Y'all let me know, because uh, that's two of these trucks. They're both 89 models, too, so kind of kind of throws me off because I was under the impression that maybe the interior had been out of this truck at some points for whatever reason but his truck same way so 
I guess that's a factory thing. I don't, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Is your truck look like that? All right, next day, uh, they start putting this floor pan in or this trim tunnel in. Uh, went tonight, got some cardboard over there. Fresh pack of Sharpies because the one in my pocket was blunt ended. Fix to start building some patch mounts for this thing. I'm not going to try to do one big long patch all the way down the side of the transmission. Probably do break it up in two or three pieces. Uh, and then dry shaft tunnel. And I'll show you along and along what it looks like as we're working on it. And yeah, super excited. All right, so what I did is I got in here, I tacked it as low as I could get it uh, at the front. And in the back, I just built, just cut some little old pieces of sheet metal. They're two and a half inches tall. And uh, I don't know how wide they are, just kind of eyeballed that. Um, but I got those tacked to the floor. That's going to hold it in place so it can't go anywhere. Um, and now we're going to start cutting uh, my poster board. Some people use chipboard, uh, cardboard. I've, I've used it all. Uh, that's just a dollar a sheet at Dollar General. So. Dollar General is about two miles from my house, so that's what we got. Uh, probably go ahead and make this piece here first. Go from here to here. And then I'll do one to go from there to there. Uh, I'm going to beat that around till it touches the floor. And then lastly, I'll after I get those two pieces in, I'll cut this piece back out and then make a piece to go in here. Uh, and then repeat the process on the other side. And then start building the drive shaft tunnel. Uh, I, think, I think all the air is out of it right now, but I'm going to double check before I... No, it's not. Uh, I got to let it all the way down before I will drive shaft tunnel in because I don't want to um, redo that. Cool. They're humping for y'all on film. It's terrible. Quit. Yeah. Doing nothing anyway. Uh, lost my whole train of thought. Anyway, so I've got this thing up on blocks mainly because I want the suspension 100% collapse with uh, no air in the bags. That way I know the drive shaft is as high as it's possibly ever going to go. And I don't have to do this drive shaft tunnel again if I decide to put bigger wheels on so but first for first things first we got to do this floor so it ain't fun it ain't glorious so just got to get in here and do it though all right so panel one simple enough now we get to make this front front one and there's panel two we brought it up above the seam seal and tack it uh, cause I can't really weld to it and I cut all the way up to the seam seal. So, uh, there's that panel two. All right. I want to show you all this, um, in case you're wondering, this is how we're making these panels. Just cut them out of cardboard. And, uh, hang on, let me show you there. We're just button them up and, uh, we keep trimming, keep trimming, keep trimming until we get, uh, get them fitting just right. And uh, all these are going to be butt welded. There's no overlap as far as uh, that place that right there is the only place that's overlap. But when I pull the cab back off, I'll trim that back. You'll be able to see on the back side where I welded it. Uh, I'll trim that back and it'll be basically like a butt weld. Um, this panel here, I'm going to cut it out. And once I get it cut out and ground and everything ready, I'm going to cut this piece back out and then I'll just weld this in. Um, that way. Uh, you know, I, I done that so it wouldn't move basically like I told you a while ago. I just want to show y'all what we was doing. We just take that poster board and I basically just took a tape measure, give me a rough measurement and uh, come over here, cut it out a little bigger and then keep coming back into trimming it until I get it fitting like I want. And we're using, uh, this is actually 16 gauge, um, maybe 18 gauge. I need to check, uh, but it's thicker than the floor. Uh, I had some thinner metal over there, but <coughs> excuse me, the floor was already um, kind of flimsy from being cut so much. So I want to put something back a little thicker in there. And uh, here we go.
Come on, I'll work with them. And that's panel three. Um, 6,311 more to go. But it's coming along pretty quick. And there's panel four. And panel five. Let's go those. And there's panel six. That one's gonna be fun to make right there. Well, this one ain't the prettiest, and it ain't butt welded, but there's panel number seven. It's overlap. Weld the crap out of it and then trim it on the bottom side whenever uh, I take the cab back off. So I'm saying, don't judge me. <laughs> don't All right, we got one more here, and then we can start the transmission tunnel, which, I mean, the drive shaft tunnel, which will probably be tomorrow night. But get all this tacked up, and then spend an entire night welding it. We'll let Chandler do it. My headliner is definitely saw better days. I thought it was in pretty good shape till we started this. That's probably good. All right, that's panel uh, eight. And the transmission tunnel is completely boxed in. Now we just have hours of welding and grinding. A lot. A lot. Um, and then drive shaft tunnel. Uh, just gonna cut a flat piece to go from here to here and then yeah and then fix the sides uh probably use the old piece that we cut out it's laying over here somewhere uh okay it was i don't know where it's at now uh we'll use it it's over there we'll use it for a template uh on the cardboard to give us a, a, a line to figure up off of but that's it for tonight uh we'll get that in tomorrow Getting one step closer. Only 912 more steps to go. Yep. Me and Dan, Kenzie Shane's out here. Uh, we got this first panel cut for the top. And we got it where it, suspension's fully collapsed. We got it just above drive shaft. Uh, we dropped it down that much just uh, to kind of help with the bottom of the seat, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut the seat to make it work. But um, you know, we're just trying to help that out a little bit. That was the easy one. Now we get to do the sides. Yeah, cut the seat. You want to be lower or you want to stop well, the seat? Well, guess what? You're going to be the one that's on the driver's side because that's where I'm driving this thing. I have to cut it in the middle. Well, this can be kind you of want to stop the seat or you want to be low? I don't know. Low. We want to be low. <laughs> I think this one. All right, let's get these side panels good. Here's our template for the passenger side. Um, it's, it's pretty close. 
Say the button. Yeah, go side. All right, so uh, left the ends a little big. Come back this way, just a second. All right, so left it a little big, a couple spots. Uh, here we had to add some. My poster board wasn't quite long enough. Added it. Brought it on. Let's go see how it fits. Y'all ready? What you think? Like I think it's gonna fit perfect. Yeah. This is legit first try, so y'all gonna see it when we see it. Front's gotta be trimmed a little bit. Uh, right here. Actually, I think the, I think the back needs to be trimmed. Well, no, I think it's just right here. Hey, you remember when I cut that little piece off that corner a while ago? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have. <laughs> Where at? Just right here. Uh huh. All right. After several hours. Bunch of trimming, grinding, beating, tacking. Me and him. We need we him. have a we have a transmission tunnel. <laughs> no. Drive shaft tunnel tacked in. We still got to go back and uh, do a ton of welding, but it is there. Uh, we just drug the bench, or Dan just drug the bench seat out. Him and Kenzie. Uh, I did all the work. We fixed and tested and see how bad it doesn't fit anymore, and how much I might cut out the bottom of it to make it fit. Because I'm not putting. Get it redone. Because I'm not putting buckets out. So, Why? Uh, yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't get that on me. So, my dogs have been living on my seat, apparently. That's always a plus. All right, so, uh, seat's definitely hitting the transmission tunnel. Uh, it's about that high off. So, it looks like we're going to have to take a section out of the center of the seat, um, which gonna make the seat really flimsy but hey just what you gotta do is what you gotta do right no you don't have to do it you just leave to. it like this we could both be taller since we're both midgets Bro, i stock floor this truck so i would not be closer to the roof but i have to be short i'm i mean i mean this tall. is the one truck in the fleet that you can see out of dan give me a foot off of your body all right dan, We all went out to eat tonight, and we went and picked up some parts for Dan's truck, and we came back, and we just started looking at my truck, and then today I made a Facebook. Idea. Yeah, today I made a Facebook post looking for a good dash, um, which is apparently impossible to find. So I talked about just fiberglass of mine and making it look like new, but when you do all that body work and you prime and everything, the texture's gonna be gone, and then it's gonna look painted like the outside of the truck. Unless you do like a satin clear or whatever. You know, I was thinking, you know, if I can make the stock dash work in this 66 Chevrolet truck dash that I had laying around that I have zero dollars in, that would be cool. And now it's midnight on a Friday. Me and Dan are out here uh, about to cut this dash in half. He's got the steering color mocked up in the truck. And uh, here we go. Wish us luck. All right, so according to our uh, initial measurements, just by roughing it up there and sticking it up there and measuring it, it uh, looks like this needs to be narrowed about 10 inches. So we come in and took nine out right here. Um, let's see where we marked it. Goes right down beside this, uh, whatever. I don't know what that was supposed to be. I'm not really familiar with 66 Chevrolets. Uh, that was a pop-out panel. Uh, this had a radio delete, so it had a pop-out panel here and an ashtray. Dan took all that out. And we're just going to split it. Um, overlap it uh, about an inch. Sheet metal screw it together and test fit it. Sounds simple, don't it? Sounds very simple. All right, so first test fit. We got a long way to go, but uh, looks like it's possible. Had to cut this piece out that goes around the steering column so we could get it in. And we're going to do a bunch of surgery to this. It's going to have to be cut off way up here uh, and weld it back in there. But I think it's something we can make work. Had to cut this whole lip off, get it, the windshield out, start tacking it and then building some filler panels around the edges. But right here is a little bit too far over. I don't know what Dan's side looks like. Can you go that way, Annie? 
Okay. So right here, we're just a little bit over. And then this actually needs to come out a little bit more. So what I would probably do is lengthen it out a little bit here where we just overlapped it an inch to get this out where it needs to be and then trim this off. And then once we get done, we'll cap the ends. Pretty badass though, ain't it? Who would have thought when I got done eating supper tonight, this is what we were coming to do. So here's where we're at so far. We got it fitting. Uh, we cut this center out because we didn't think it was gonna work around the steering column. And ended up, there was a brace behind it that was hitting the steering column. We cut it out and uh, I welded it back in, ground it down and uh, it fits pretty good. So we got this thing, we cut that lip off. We got this thing all the way back. Um, it, we were trying to make it where it would line up with this door panel, but uh, with it way out here, it was gonna have to be, because of the angle of the steering column, it was gonna have to be way higher than the windshield. So in my opinion, this looks the best. And uh, yeah, and it gives more leg room. Gives them less room, we gotta put AC in, but uh, I think we'll, we'll, figure yeah, we'll figure that out when we get to that bridge. Uh, we may come in here with some metal and form it to come out need this door panel or we might just leave it alone because well we only got four months to have this stuff done yep and me and dan was talking about doing the firewall a while ago and somehow ended up on a dash i don't i don't know it's your fault and it's 1 a.m so oh, that's gonna be badass yeah well. and, and uh see if we can make the i'm gonna go get an old gauge cluster out of that spare cab that just new give me tomorrow and see if we can modify it enough to fit with the factory surround we we'll wanted to build a mount for it obviously but see what we can come up with and where is it at uh i'm not sure oh, show you more all right i'm gonna cut this video off right here um you saw it what one i was planning on doing whenever uh started this project doing dax swap in the s10 um i bought a couple couple uh really interesting parts that y'all gonna like uh, I'll show you in the next video. Uh, appreciate y'all checking this one out. Um, we're gonna get it done one day. So there's still a pile of work to do. We're running out of time. I think today we got like 104 days left until many naps. So uh, it's kind of crunch time. But appreciate y'all checking it out. Come back for the next one.